the opinions of others become very problematic and something that can cause a huge problem in our society. Hi, I'm Jimi Hendrick, and this episode is called EA. Okay, I want to do a little shout out to um, a good friend of mine and life consultant, Marie. <laughs> God bless you, and and thank you for helping me come up with this. I'm talking about the de the degenerate culture, in particular, the opinions of others that really have begun to be among um, people who consume social media. And if you ask me nowadays, too much social media. Um, now, I had an, an episode a few days back where I talked about the guarding the door to your heart. I mentioned someone that I had taken in as a friend named Sam. I took him in as a confidence and of course I was betrayed. And sometime after the betrayal I had friends come to me and say you know um, Jimmy Sam is all over the internet and social media talking crap about you. You need to demand to get that taken down. I said no. And the reaction was, what in the world do you mean? What's, what's wrong with you? Don't you care about what people put on social media? How about you? And I had a talk with my mother about that yesterday, and she said, you know what? What people put on social media many times doesn't match up with what's the truth. You, you think about, okay, the Vladimir Putin death social media hoax, which I believe it is. And some many people take social media as journalism, as news, as gospel. And um, I'm going to tell you, no, no. Uh... We had a, a theologian um, Let me look up his name and I'll be right back with you The, the theologian Kevin Pearson He said, you know, part of the problem is Even well many, many Christians Instead of reading the word to find out about the truth about them in the mornings. They're looking at their social media feeds. Okay, and, and that goes that goes against everything that's going on uh, for the patterns of success. What is it? It's pure fallout. It's the degenerate culture which falls for lies Emmy windows and uh, gossip and false belief that's been going on for 33 years now. <laughs> By 2025, I'll be able to say 35. Okay? But let me be honest with you. 
Are you going to base your life based on the opinions of others? What people are going to say on, on, on social media? And I can hear some people. But Jimmy, but Jimmy, you need to demand that Sam takes that stuff down. That's not my thing to demand. But, but Jimmy, but Jimmy, that's crazy. He might be spreading crap about you. That doesn't matter. What matters is what people who really know me really say about me. Okay? I met Sam back in February. My last contact with him was sometime, I believe, in mid-May. Or like... June. Okay, that's four months of my life. I don't count knowing the true me is knowing somebody is is somebody that's known me for four months of my life. Now you take Marie. She's known me for a year and a half. The times that she's come over and taken care of me as a friend and been my life consultant, she knows the real me. Of course, she didn't know until it was unlapped uh, layer by layer. I, you know, first I talked to her about you know some of the strict dietary laws that I go by, and you know, of course, you know that brought in an assumption. <laughs> well, that means Jimmy's uh, Jehovah's Witness. I said, no, I'm not. I'm not Jehovah's Witness. I'm I'm a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter Day Saints, and so I had to sit down and explain to Marie what that means. But but Jimmy, don't you care what people are saying on social media? He can write what he wants. Okay, it's nothing to me. But but Jimmy, he can he he can come he can come after me. I I really don't care. For one thing, I got people. I was talking to my mother about this yesterday. I got people all over the state, among family and friends, that would jump to the chance to help me, help defend me. Not to mention, I know how to defend myself. Okay. <laughs> Be in mind, and even going to summer school during the school for the at the school for the run, you had to learn to defend, defend, and take up for yourself. Okay, I used to care about the opinions of others. There was a time even this year I cared about fitting in, but anymore. Yesterday, I had a hard situation in my life. I wasn't able to do my political podcast, which was going to be a fearless faith one. And why? Because I had a power outage in my area that lasted from 9 o'clock in the morning until about 7.30, 8 o'clock at night. And I'll be honest with you, I thought it was over. I thought I was lost. I thought that was it. I didn't think anything, any good was going to come of it. You know, and it's funny, I was complaining to Heavenly Father about how I was not filling in. And it's funny, I, I felt, to be honest with you, I felt like my soul and my life and everything was within the, the jaws of hell were opening right after me. So I could have easily caved, but I didn't. I started sitting there for hours seeking God, telling him how much I need him and how much I love him. And, and I would sit there and cry 
I told him my father, I said, you know, I said, you know, I really don't care what other people say or think about me. And and I and I told him, I said, Hey my father, I'll tell you why. I said, because too many people have broken my heart. Too many people have broken my heart. I said, but one person I care about, who they say about me, is, is Heavenly Father is thee and thee alone. Because he was there for me yesterday when nobody else could or would be. He sat with me. He let me talk to him. You know, he heard me cry out to him. And, and he touched my life. He said, Jimmy, it hurts me to see to see you cry. I promise you, I am going to move in your life. Please. I, I don't want you to despair of life, Jimmy. Period. I don't want you to think that you're doomed because if you don't because you don't fit in. Let me tell you something. You can't be so wrapped up in your in your belief of other people's opinions and the feeling that you don't fit in. If you're listening to my podcast and you're subscribed to Empower Your Pattern, you're part you're part of the pattern realm and you know something? Maybe because you don't fit in. You're meant to be you're meant to be a standout. And welcome to Pattern Realm because I love each and every single one of you. I mean it. With with all my heart. I I mean that I, I love with each one of you with all my heart. I think about twenty twenty two and and I wanna sing like with Toby Mac. It's been a hard year, it almost took me down. But when, but when my world broke into pieces, you were there faithfully. When I cried out to you, Jesus, you made a way for me. I may never be the same man, but I'm a man who still believes. When my world broke, when I cried out to you, Jesus, you were there faithfully. And you know something? He was there. He stood by his word. He spoke to me gently. If you're in the position that I'm in, maybe you're trying to make a difference in, in the world around you, and your sphere of influence, and there, but there's days, maybe even weeks you're sitting there and you think to yourself, I don't fit in. I'm not the stereotypical according to the opinions of others. Guess what? Congratulations. Welcome to Pattern Realm, because neither am I. Listen to me. Listen to me. The opinions of others towards you don't even matter. And if people are going to be that petty, you know, you want to know why? It's like my friend Marie said, if they're going to be that petty, it means one thing. That they're jealous of you. Because let me tell you something. Each one of you in Pattern Realm, listen to me. Each one of you in Pattern Realm, you are special. An irretrievable miracle of God. And okay, maybe you don't fit in. Guess what? Join me. Please do this, okay? Please do this and listen to me. Join me in honing in your your talent in the marketplace and making a difference. It can be tough. Maybe some of you 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 don't have too many close families near, nearby. Guess what? Welcome to Pattern Realm. I feel like I'm leading a tribe of people, a tribe of misfits, but a tribe of misfits that love Jesus Christ with all their heart. The opinions of, of others have crucified them and left them alone, and they don't know which end to go. 
let me tell let me tell you something. If you're like that, join me. Please join me. Here in about a minute, I'm gonna pray for you guys. Because I care for you. I deeply care for my audience. Yesterday I was so despondent that I was willing to give up podcasting. And Heavenly Father, he said, no, you don't. He said, you may not fit in fit in anywhere else, but your public is waiting. They love you. And you know what, guys? I love you. So what I'm going to do here in, in a little bit, I'm going to pray for you. And whatever you're doing, if you're driving, please pull over the side of the road somewhere, somewhere safely. Pause if you have to. And I want you to pray this prayer with me, okay? Bow your heads, close your eyes. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, I come to those within the sound of my voice. Maybe they've been racked in pain by the opinions of others. This degenerate culture, Heavenly Father, has a way of taking us down. Because we're listening to too much of what's on social media and gossip and BS. And there's people with talent and wanting the maze to make a difference as entrepreneurs and leaders and thought leaders. And Heavenly Father, those people have been thrown down. And now, Heavenly Father, we as a collective being in pattern realm, we surrender our lives to thee. As a part of Pattern Realm, Heavenly Father, I ask thee to bless these people. Love them as only thou dost, and support them in a way that only thou canst. We love thee, Heavenly Father. We love thee with all our hearts, and we do so and say so in the name of thy Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Now I know I pray in the sacred language. I may not understand it, but especially when I'm praying deeply and acknowledging him who, him who he is in reverence, that's when the thee and the thou comes out. Him and Father is going to love you no matter how hard you pray, as long as you pray to him in the name of Jesus Christ, Okay. I'm going to sing another um, another line from Toby Mac, faithfully. Of course, I'm 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 uh, might change some things, so please forgive me. In my despair, you met me so quietly, so gently. You said you would never leave, and you stood by your word. In my despair, you met me. Down in my heart, you met me. You said you would never leave, and you stand by your word. When my world broke into pieces, you were there faithfully. When I cried out to you, Jesus, you made a way for me. I may never be the same man, but I'm a man who still believes. When I cried out to you, Jesus, you were there faithfully. Listen to me. If you're feeling pain right now, and you want, you want to fit in, welcome to Pattern Realm. You fit in. Listen to your adversity, um, your adversity educator, your success, confidence, and thrive coach, because I care for you guys. I want to do what I can for you guys. Okay? I'm glad you chose to play, to press play to this podcast. I wasn't expecting it to, to be this deep, but I guess I, I got a video that's going to be on the same subject 
on on YouTube. But I feel like with the audio podcast, I need to go a little bit deeper. I care about you guys. Yeah, there may be some times I talk, I sit there, and I talk about business things. But you know something? I also like to talk about matters of the heart. Okay, so you don't fit in. People just pass you by. Let me tell you something. Welcome to Pattern Realm. And I won't pass you by. I won't pass you by. Because I care about the people that I'm I'm placing stewardship over. I mean, I can't take away everybody's pain. That's Jesus' uh, department. But one thing I can do is guide you in some of the right, right directions. And if, let me tell you something. If you're striving to follow the degenerate culture and the opinion, the guiding opinions of others, I can't help you. But if you've reached a point like me where you're like, you know what? I've had it. I don't know why I'll never, I'll never, I'll never fit in. But you know what? I want you to do something. I don't want you to ever give up. It's easy to want to do that and be discouraged in this fallen world. And you know something? You don't have to do that. If you're lonely and you don't fit in, first you need a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. Then I think you need to take the next step. In the waters of baptism, have a covenant relationship with him. And then just let the Holy Ghost pray and invite the Holy Ghost into your life and let him fall upon you and comfort you. You don't know how often today I have prayed and asked for yesterday. I have prayed and asked for the Holy Ghost to come upon me. I wasn't sure how how. Heavenly Father was going to move. I wasn't sure if the power outage would last all night and it would get to the point where somebody destroyed that discovered me and got me the heck out of here or what was going to happen. But then I had my best friend come visit me and not long after he came to visit me, boom, the power went back on. And I bless God. <sighs> Let me tell you something. If it wasn't for if it if it wasn't for God, the Father, and His Son Jesus Christ, and I believe that they're one. They're one in essence, but they're separate in being. If it wasn't for the Godhead, I don't know where I'd be on right now. And when I'm talking about this degenerate culture and the, the opinions of others and how that doesn't really matter if you embrace the pattern set forth by, by the word of God, by the Bible, then guess what? You're starting to fit together the pieces of the puzzle. Let's do that together, folks. Let's do that. And if you suffer pain and loneliness because you feel like you don't fit in. Listen to me. Listen to me. You don't have to suffer that pain anymore. You don't have to suffer that pain anymore. Welcome to Pattern Realm. I'm here to help people that are dreamers, that want more, and a better and extraordinary life right now. If you want a better and extraordinary life right now, you don't care about the opinions of others and what smut is written on social media. I know a lot of motivational speakers say, well, they got, they inflate not too much positive on social media, but I've had my experience 
got there too much negative right, right written on there too. Either way, you get depressed. So listen to me. The people wonder, well, Jimmy, how come you don't get on there very much? Here's why, I'm, unless I'm doing it for business purpose, or the Lord tells me to share something, I'm not on there very much. I, I, I have limited the platforms I allow myself on. And you want to know why? And I hope this registers with you, each of you in Pavan Realm. I am fed up with the drama and the BS that they got on social media now. Be scared. Be angry. Be depressed. And you're supposed to care about what other people are, you know? The Bible says we're like sheep. And you know what? We are. But you know what we need to make and be? And then do and be? We need to make and do and be like we're his sheep. The Lord's sheep. We follow him around. That way we don't have to be scared. If we're just following our sheep that are going over a precipice, what's that going to do? But if you have, if you're the Lord's sheep and his shepherds are guiding you through, through revelation and correction and the Holy Ghost, let me tell you something. There's nothing like that. There's nothing like that in this world. I don't care what it, what it takes. You feel like you don't fit in this world? Guess what? Follow the Lord. He said, if the world, if the world hates the hate of him, you know that they hate you. And you don't want to be worldly. Do you? It's, it's easy, okay, to want to be worldly. Because it's everywhere. And I'm having a condition with myself. And I think it, it's taken Heavenly Father to create some hard knocks. I hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe. Listen to Pattern Realm. Till next time, do what others don't so you can be what others won't. And do what others won't so you can have what others can't. And, and I want you to listen to this one. Choose, act, and pursue happiness. God bless you. And remember this. From the bottom of my heart, Jenny loves you. I really, 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 really love you. God bless you, and please have a blessed day.